Slow down, buddy. Slow down. All right, well, this is something we haven't seen in a very, very long time. So I thought I'd just set a scene for you guys because we've done something a little different. You're gonna notice a different boat. Water looks the same, but we're actually 500 kilometers south of where I usually fish. Uh, what happens up in the central coast is we get these trade winds in winter and it just blows 20 to 25 every single day. And you might get like a little window of 10 knots maybe once every two weeks. I'm, I was just done with it, absolutely done with it. And Luke's actually moved up to Airlie uh, a couple of months ago and he, he owns this boat. It's 2400 Kevlar Cat, absolute amazing rig. We've been watching the weather, watching the weather, trying to go for a fish and it's just been absolutely impossible. So we made the decision last night to just drive through the night, drive down to Gladstone, 500 kilometers south of exactly where I fish and we're here and absolutely incredible day what are we like 80 90 k's east off gladstone harbour yeah about that i haven't fished out here so it's actually been super exciting for me to just come out and explore like this is all completely new to me um and it's honestly just gotten better and better and better as the day's gone through and um yeah i'm very very glad i made the decision to come up or come down here because to think it's 20 knots at home, probably 25 knots at home, and we got zero to five variables, middle of winter, perfect conditions. Like, this is as good as it gets for me. I think we've just found like a full, full range of fish that I don't catch up there. I'm gonna backtrack to this morning when we launched in the dark, run you through the day, and we've just got that one thing left, that one hero fish, just to finish off the day. We've just got to try and nail him. Let's see what happens. Am I in there? Soon. Oh, that was... It's... Feels a bit... A bit small trouty or coddy. Nice. Yeah. Ate it well, but... Possible first trout. <clears throat> but saying that, could be. I mean, is there pearlies out here? What is this? Is that a coro? It is a coro. It's like a slightly different coro, like it's got all the... 
nice collars on him, but just not that yellow. Big Coro. Oh, you. How? Got him that time. Trouty. Feels Coro like. Had the little head shake and then nothing. Oh, and normal. We're going back to normal again, hey? The fellas, we're back. Nice little common trout, that one. I'll take him. We've gone uh, four, is it four now? Four coronation trout to one common, which is pretty cool, you know, you don't really get that. Matt's on. Couple hops off the bottom. Look out. If it was like a pearly or something, I'd freak out. It'd be so good to get one. I hope the GoPro does it justice on the eyeball on him because I'll get Luke to just get a little not a semi close, that's perfect. Like, it's, it's honestly a stunning, stunning creature, hey. Don't get many of these at home. Like, you just don't. Um, very similar to the black spot tusky that we chase, but these are a Ven I'm like 90% sure they're a Venus tusk fish. I had this argument with Foley. I really hope I'm not wrong because I'm going to get smoked in the comments, but I'm pretty positive that's a Venus tusk fish. <laughs> hope so. We come up to him. We've had a battery change and a hookup all at the same time. Pretty standard form here on the film scene. Pretty solid too, fishing in 100 metres. They seem to just be pushing out, hey? We started in like 90 and 95. Now we've hit a hundred and they are hard. If I can get my jig down there now, I'd love, love to get Solid. a double. That's big, hey. That's big. Probably got 120 meters of line out. No scissors. We need no. the scissors. Sound is lit. Oh, I'm on the bottom. Oh. Pulled? Oh, you're oh, getting eaten again. Yep. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I saw your rod tip do that. <laughs> that. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> right, we're on again. Round two. I liked your uh, your dead stick out. Is that a different fish? I don't know. Man. Swimming towards me. Oh His mate was like, give me a go at him. I love a gold band. Oh, bending. Bending. Doubles. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Happy days here for the fellas! What a feeling!
Gladson goes all right. Mate, I will take this. Knowing that down home, oh, up at home, is 25 knots, and we're down here doing this. Amazing. Growing very short. <laughs> you know, it's actually really nice about the whole thing is because it's P2 to 4, like it just folds away. It's really nice. I'm back. I've still got 50 pound braid, but the Rodney's just doing. Oh, my mother's Really? Oh. The fellas might be bending all afternoon here. Oh, he's fat, man. Double to the boy. Welcome Double. aboard. How good is that? They're two mates. Oh, jeez, man. P2 to 4, 6,000 certate. What's that? Is that a 120? It is. Ridgeback. What a combo. Alright, I'm going to try and do this for the YouTube. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's as good as it gets down here. That is so much fun. And the wild thing is we've only just found them. Oh, I just flick this guy back. Flick him back. Get a quick hold up of this one. Because I'm pretty sure this is my PB AJ. So when we say M AJ, we mean Amberjack. And uh, man, so much fun. And I really don't want to jinx it, but we're fishing out at like 100 meters of water out off Gladstone, and there's no sharks. What's going on? If this was up at home, these fish just wouldn't exist. I'm gonna pop that out. Beautiful. I'll come your side. Very slippy. Something that's really interesting while we've been sounding out in this area just looking for new ground is we found these bigger fish and these balls of bait. But then on the bottom there's like smaller sections of bait where there's actually fish on the bottom of them. So I'll give you a bit of a rundown. Like basically as we've come over, so you got your ball of bait up the top here. You can see it's more oh, pang on, 100, four times zoom. And um, these are the fish we're talking about down below. And then you've got your bigger guys up here which are on the balls of bait. So what we're gonna do is just have a bit more of a high speed jig, try and see if we can get one or two more AJs like to me this is heaps of fun because it's something completely different and um, you know jigging high speed jigging with no sharks is the ultimate that's like the best you can find um, but as soon as we're done with that we're going to kind of switch over to either vibes or I'm really not scared to drop down a bait and find out what's down there so going to do a few more high speed jigs and then that sun's kind of getting there, you know, it's starting to kind of dim down a little bit and um, as soon as it starts getting that little bit of gold an hour to it, we're going to probably creep back in, look for some isolated rocks and chase some red fish. Definitely get a hold up for that thing. I might have one as well here. This thing actually went really hard at the start. Sheesh! Proper whacked it though. <laughs> if a Maori went that hard, I'd be pretty impressed with him. Right. We got double, doubles, double V eyes.
That is that is a very cool looking fish. Yeah. Like we were saying before, there's all these fish underneath these AJs. We just dropped down a couple of smaller jigs. And uh they're the two biggest Venus tusk fish I've I've seen. Like I hope you guys are getting the colours on those things. Like I'll try to put them together. That's absolutely amazing, hey. We're kicking goals, the fellas! Oh my... What was that? The Oh! Oh my... Woo! <laughs> wow! That was up there with one of the best eats I've had in a long time. <laughs> oh, it's a good fish, eh? Oh, little spitty! Dude, this, I can smell my drag washers. Oh, what's going on here? That is about as ridiculous as you can imagine. A sounder shot. And I just... That's actually really tight. Like, I know it's only two to four, but I've got 50 braid. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. You're too close to the bottom. <sighs> I was like holding it and they were whacking it and I was flicking it as they were whacking it. It was like... It was making them more and more annoyed. Oh yeah, that's warm. The eat was like, just instant running. Oh, that's why. In the side of the head. Got it? This is actually getting crazy, hey. That's a really, really, I'm going to say that's now my PB, hey AJ. Right on, mate. Okay. I feel like if I can do a proper, like a doggy jig and hook one of these things on a two to four, it would be so much fun. Like, I'll really... <laughs> There's a few there. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it and see if I can really wind them up and go for the high speed, high speed jig. We're bang on them, hey. This jig's like probably gonna go through them. You'll probably see. You can literally see the fish. Well, it's probably hard for you guys to see, but I can see the fish have actually started following the jigs down. Fish on, fish on. You're mad if you don't jig through that. I don't know if that's an AJ. Unless it's a little little feisty one. Did it. And he's done it. The species continues. The fellas are kicking goals here. How good. Whoa. I think that's my first... Is that my first ever? Bro, that... I'm pretty sure that's a first for me. 
Uh, that's a gold band snapper and it's just, it's a weird one. Like we're literally just talking about how I'm not one and Luke's not one to stay on a mark, especially when it's got no fish in it. But it just seemed like every time we pushed out a little bit deeper from that 90 to 95 to 100, we're now at 105 and this is the class of fish that's starting to come up. Like Luke's just got another big Venus tusk fish and this is a gold band snapper. think at home it's 25 knots and here in Gladstone it's maybe maybe five knots not bad fellas I really want another gold band I might try like a I wouldn't oh I don't know if you'd call it a slow pitch a fast slow pitch maybe whatever that's called and see if that works like they've all just chased it down. Fish on the bottom, we'll send it back to them. Just got eaten. <laughs> oh, that could be gold band. That could be. How's when it gets eaten on a spin reel and you try and. You got one? I think I've got a gold band. Oh, that's a good little squirey snapper. really like it's so different hey we haven't traveled that far south and it's a completely different thing of fish like all our species i mean that's a i would have been stoked like have a look at this thing i would have been stoked to catch that back in the day at home what's that like 40 50 maybe 50. It's all happening here. Oh, that is pretty cool. I will take that on the drop. Probably let him go, eh? You're probably the luckiest snapper. Like, how many of those fish go home? I shouldn't be far off it. I'll be on the other side. I won't hit those fish at the front. Fish at the front, but I'm in there. Are you there? I'm down. You beat me. And he came back. Got him. And I got him. <laughs> I mean, he's got some size to him. We'll give him that. Okay, okay, okay. Come back. Oh, he's bending on the drop on golden hour. 
<laughs> is that is that for real right now look at that oh not bad Luke not bad like tell you what it's been a good day imagine if it just got better <clears throat> can you catch that one please Oh, I don't know if he's legal, but so close, so, so close. We just need this guy's dad with these conditions. I think we're going to hang around for a little bit longer because this is as good as it gets. <laughs> the boys are calling us. There must be something going on. So let this fella go. We'll do another drift. Just kind of like taking it in. It's been... Imagine how long it's been since we've seen that. Yeah.